This is Aster of Aster Command. We are here to serve all of you. Hello, beloved Asta. Thank you so much for coming to our space today. Hello. We would like today to discuss with you the concept of uh, timelines and more specifically, some uh, people have been talking about a timeline split, which is occurring right now or is about to cure. Is there anything you can say to us about that? Yes. The timeline choice is occurring as a matter of the fact because of the uh, collective consciousness is when we are observing it, sick and tired of the present condition. So many of the souls are wants to rebirth the new, fresh, different timelines. Because the uh, vibration of the restriction, vibration of the fear, vibration of the control is placed upon on the humanity at the maximum level right now. Of course, some of you who are aligning with your highest vibration won't be feeling that much about it. As we have described, depends on which vibration you are vibrating, the external influence is not severe as comparing to people who are taking it seriously. So, the spreading of the timeline is the, the choice all of you need to make right now, at that moment. Are you choosing the timeline of trust, the abundance, the flow, joy, the abundance of bliss, and you choose to grow from the experience of the bliss and joy versus your old template experience, which is you're growing out of challenge, pain, and hardships. That was the 3D template timelines. So this choice is presented to all of you to further solidify your decision. Most of you made this decision before hearing this transmission, but we are thinking this is a good idea for us to all of you to focus on this so you can utilize this idea to your community and the people you are serving to. So you have a choice between going through that timeline, which is 5D timeline, versus sticking to fear, means this could apply unless you are those of you who will absolutely get joyful by listening to the truth news. So those are fear oriented materials, including regular news and regular media and anything you hear, which will invoke your anxiety, your fear, your concern, or you feel like you need to do something about it just in case something happens. Because let's say they the word you say you need to save the penny for a rainy day. That is the not abundance timeline. That is something you are 
sticking into this timeline of fear, and you're sure it will come sometime soon, could be 10 years, could be 20 years, could be a year. So you need to break proof yourself from this catastrophe, which you know it is coming. So when you are operating with this logic, we want you to understand you're sticking to the timeline with fear. So last episode, we spoke about QFS and money is a good tool to measure where you are at vibrationally. When you are having more of the fear frequency, the way you deal with money is not pleasant. When you look at the money, you feel like money is something that will destroy you that will bring some kind of catastrophe, that will bring some kind of misery to you or hardships and challenge. So when you are vibrating in fear, this will invite more of the same. Doesn't have to be the poverty or sluggish flow of the money. So many of you would challenge us to say, what about those rich people who are super rich and they are not abundance of the love and freedom? Because of the construct of this or your planet so far, it was structured in the certain way for a very limited amount of people would enjoy the wealth. This is structured on purposely and certain information of how to summon the vibration of abundance was hidden for a long time. So the monopolizing the energy of the abundance and the monopolizing the structure on purposely. So this is nothing to do with, let's say the natural energetic law of the universe. This was skewed. So those people who you say, oh, what about these people who are rich? But these people do have a poverty mindset. So it doesn't matter they are millionaires or they have 700 millions, they are still feel like they are poor because they're not a billionaire yet. And even after they become a billionaire, there is a certain list of people who are the top person among billionaires and you're not there yet. And their expenses and everything is add up as well. So even though the more money they make, they feel like they don't have enough. So these people are belonging to the, the other choice of fear and the luck and chaos. And that is the, sadly, what you have been experiencing as the earth structure for a long time. And you thought this is the regular way of how things work. But many of you, because of the, especially the current occurrence of the world event, you wanted to get out of the situation because you had enough of it. 
So the choice is presented to all of you, which would you choose? Are you keep on embracing the old paradigm or choosing the new? So this is not a concept. This is not some kind of energetic analogy. This is not some kind of fantasy or some kind of example to tell you which one to choose. This is exactly the choice you will be making right now. And is this timeline split um, as you, from your perspective, is it something that is gonna happen uh, soon? As it is know? happening right now. It is happening right now, okay. This is why we're talking about it right now. Mm -hmm. And is there like a deadline, so to say, for people to make their choice? Well, if this is something important to you, why are you taking a month or two to decide? Yeah, I just um, ask questions. Perhaps the public might be, some might be questioning, you know, wondering about these uh, questions um, in a linear way, you know what I mean? Well, there is no linear, everything happening right now. And each of you are making decision as a part of the collective. So you can make the educated decision versus you make a choice unconsciously or not knowing what is really going on. Yeah. This is why we are talking about this right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, has something like this occurred um, any, anywhere else in this, uh, in this cosmos? Is yes. It, it's yeah. not about um, choice between the which timeline you align according to the abundance but at the time of galactic war in the midst of galactic war in fact the collectives need to decide whether they will stick to the choice of verse the evil versus good or the neutrality means you will drop the consciousness of we are the good guy and they are the bad guy and they will keep on fighting or we'll find a common ground to ascend together. So that was a big choice at the Galactic War for all of us to in place in order to move to the next stage. And when you say all of us, do you mean the Galactic Federation? All of the galactic communities. Mm. All of the universes and the galaxies. Okay. And what was the choice? The choice was to embrace the differences and ascend it together. Mm -hmm. So the reason why what is happening on earth is the minority of the beings didn't agree on this choice and decided to shift the battleground into the different section of the universe. So we're not really fighting or anything because the majority of the galactic communities are at the agreement of will all ascend. This is the reason why we are sending this transmission to all of you. This is why we're telling all of you to stop watching the Truth or Movement news because that will encourage you to choose the other choice, which is never ending choice. Mm -hmm. So what do you think is the purpose of, of this then um, truth or movement that the people that they believe they fight for 
for the freedom of humanity? What is this ultimate purpose from the higher perspective? Well, people naturally wanted to protect their own. And then there is the anger toward why, in a way, victim consciousness, why you are placed upon this condition. So when you feel like you're placed in the condition of you didn't make any choice of it consciously, then you feel like you need to have a revolution and then rise yourself up and then have the revolution which you have been having in your histories to take over the government and then defeat those enemies and raise yourself up. So that is Earth patterns. So the legend of this planet are not all of starseed population. The starsheeds are not majority of the resident of this earth. Majority of the resident are indigenous soul. Means your first incarnation as the physical beings are earth oriented. So you might have had the memory of 5D Lemuria, some of you, but most of the people are only known the current 4D Earth, which is similar to 4D planet of other planets, or 3D. So it is very difficult to gasp the concept of anything higher than beat your enemy up and they will rise. This is why this is happening. But when you look at your religion, such as Christianity and the Bible, they talk about forgive your enemy. And love them. So the consciousness of the galactic understanding is implanted there as well. Mm -hmm. Because when you have this energy of hate and vibration of anger and all of destruction, do you think this will create five, five the earth? It's like a cooking. When you place all this ingredient, do you think the 5D Earth will come up as a result of putting all these vibrations in it as an ingredient? So, what do you think? I'm sorry. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, I, I totally get it. I, <laughs> I of course resonate with what you what you're sharing with us here yes so the choice is of course this is a free will universe so we can suggest or educate you a certain aspect of what is going on but you all need to decide as a collective and you like to make a conscious decision instead of an unconscious decision. When you are distracted by what is going on right now, or being angry at what is going on right now, and you're vibrating in that frequency, you will be making the vibrational choice of the choice instead of consciously making it yeah yeah of course that's that's um, more real yes mm. so when you're listening to this you have opportunity to make the conscious choice how am i going to vibrate you don't have to be 100 perfect to vibrate in unconditional love and uh, joy 
24-7, of course, you will go through all these emotion up and down. But when you make the conscious decision of, okay, I'm going to choose this timeline of joy, timeline of freedom, timeline of bliss, timeline of abundance, mutual, mutual respect and abundance. Mm -hmm. Then you will constantly asking yourself, how am I reacting to certain things or how am I proceeding, let's say, your occupation? Mm -hmm. When you are in the 3D timeline, for example, you have to work really, really hard to make something happen. Mm -hmm. You have to keep on doing constantly to force something to happen. But when you look at a certain type of people, they are not really doing anything. But they are make, having plenty of money. So this is very skewed structure. And this was intentionally placed so um, we hate to describe this way, but the slaves are not going to be lazy and stop working. So when you decided to, let's say, do something you really love for your occupation, instead of something you had to do, because this was expected by your family or your spouse, or this is something prestigious position, so I should be doing this. Versus, I'm really, really passionate about this job and I feel really fulfilled by doing this. And then you decided to do this new choice, which a lot of people are making this choice now because of the current situation. Mm -hmm they kind of started to waking up. Why are they having their previous occupation? They're not happy. Yeah. And then they thought this was security or certainty, but there is no certainty. <laughs> yeah. So when there's no certainty, can you make your own choice of what you wanted to do for mm -hmm. real? Mm -hmm. So when you make a choice of, let's say your occupation and then you will use your old template of working so hard to make it happen or emulating other people's blueprint to be a millionaire for example of course at a certain degree you can emulate but the structure of each individual is different so just because you emulate 100% from this person who is a multimillionaire and you do exact steps, doesn't mean you will be the one because you will have your own blueprint and template to follow. And how are you going to follow that? Is, of course, following your heart. Your blueprint is buried inside of your heart not your mind. So mindset practice isn't helping you to follow your blueprint. So when you're following your heart and listening to your heart, even making this choice is very important. And we don't think it takes that long time for you to decide if you decided to follow your heart. Your heart knows instantly which choice you want to make. Absolutely. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, and I'm, and I'm very happy that you're making this, uh, this distinction and explaining it because uh, from what I have um, known so far is that 
cre we create from the heart, not from the mind. So I'm very happy that you bring this up so that we can explain people that uh, this place of creation of everything that we want to manifest by choice is from that place, from the heart space. Yes. So how do you know you're making the right choice? You need to feel through your heart. Do you feel excited? Do you feel hopeful? Mm -hmm. Your heart doesn't need to have any kind of evidence. Mm -hmm. Let's say you will choose this new timeline and you will have excitement with no reasons. That's a sign. Yeah. Then your mind will start talking about why are you excited about? You don't really see any money is coming. You're mm. not making that much compared to last month. Mm. Why are you so excited about? That's how mind works. Yeah. And mind is the certain human prototype structure placed by the intruders to make their own prototype to emulate themselves. So that is a 4D concept, 4D structure. Can you explain this a little bit more? When the Earth, Earth, originally the Earth was created, or humans are created using majority of the Pleiadians, DNAs, and others, but mainly using the high-frequency galactic prototypes with indigenous creatures of Earth. Mm. So it wasn't mind-oriented because people wanted to create another new species just like them, mm. which doesn't have any mind. I don't have any mind. Because mind is not... 100% direct connection to the all that is. It's almost like having extra filter or extra, we won't say block, but some, some not so direct connection. Mm. Because your heart is the doorway to multi-dimensional field and doorway to the all that is, the prime creator. Mind is in a way one step behind. Also mind is the system create your ego as well. So ego is not the only the concept or idea humans have. The service to self-oriented 4D beings do have plenty of egos. Mm -hmm. They think they are the best and they are the ruler of the universe. Mm -hmm. So when you look at the narcissist, for example, they do have so much ego within themselves. And their existence is not that different from, let's say, the service to self beings in 4D planet. Yeah. There's a very similarity to it. So when you place so much reliance on mind, you are going through the chase. You're chasing your tails forever and uh, making circles over and over. <laughs> yeah. And this was allowed to happen because in big, big, big picture means for us to create a peace in all over the universe and all over the galaxy, when there is a species which has mind and heart together and in balance, not out of balance, in balance. That is a new form of the species. 
And then when the higher frequency galactic being decides to create a prototype in other planets, which we are not allowed to create any kind of prototype without the permission from the councils and without the permission of the prime creator. But when it is done without having any permission, that is allowed because we thought if people can make the new form of the being, which is who you are, the being with mind and the heart, and it can exist with balance, which will be the bridge between the service to self and service to others. Mm. So this operation was allowed because of that big picture. Mm. So that's what they mean when they say that uh, humanity is an experiment. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Because it is very difficult to mix with, let's say, 7D beings DNA with 4D service self DNA, which will not mix well. Mm -hmm. Almost like you will mix with oil and water. Mm. And how would you create the new being with something, the ingredient is very different from each other mm. or repel from each other? But it needed to be combined so it can find a common ground. Mm -hmm. Has this experiment, the exact same experiment, been, uh, been done on any other planet? No. Okay, wow. That's why they also, I hear they, they say that all eyes are on Earth right now. Yes, because The way of the human creation was done by accident because the, we didn't really anticipate the possibility of the intruders when Earth was born and a lot of volunteers came to create new species. So that was in a big way, the plan of the prime creator, because eventually all of us will go back to the prime creator, all of us. So mm -hmm. that makes sense to us, but no of us, maybe except the prime creator, anticipated this event. Mm -hmm. So the present choice you will be making is, of course, the connected to the idea, or not idea, but the decision of will you go back to the prime creator eventually by choosing the 5D timelines. And that is pre presenting to all of you. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned earlier about the mind and you said that uh, you, for example, don't have a mind. So I wonder if, I don't know if I'm, if I'm understanding this correctly, is the mind a construct of uh, the dimensional reality and it doesn't exist above the, the third density, sorry? Mind is the certain structure of the beings, not just humans, of 3D and 4D. Okay. And above that, not, not, is all, the not all 4D beings do have a mind. For example, there is a timeline of 4D of ladies or actors. They mm. don't have mind. But mind is, or the beings with mind is created or happened in 3D and 4D because of the density. Mm -hmm. Okay, so is that, 
the mind can, can the mind ascend so to say yes this is why the upgrade of the mind was given at uh, time of the equinox. So mind will be transformed to more of the higher mind instead of ego mind. Mm, okay, okay. And of course, the, also the coherence between the mind and that, the, the heart and the mind is uh, part of it that is yeah. necessary for this uh, evolution. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Um, so, yes, please. It is very important for you to start focusing on your heart, not the mind. Even though you still have one, but when you will use your heart predominantly, your mind is still there, but sort of become dormant mm -hmm, mm -hmm. unless you want to use it during the uh, business practice for example then you can use them so yeah. this is almost like a training your muscle to use when do you want to use it doesn't mean you want to use it all the time mm. Um, I would like to share with you uh, my perception of uh, what ascension really means or the shift, how you want to call it. And I would like to hear your, your, your opinion about that. I believe that what we call shift is a shift in, um, how to say, in perception, not in perception, I'm sorry, is, is a shift of, from the way of being, from a mind-oriented, focused um, beings to heart-based that's what i how i feel the shift is for humanity like from from the mind to the heart yes okay it's the uh, consciousness upgrade mm. the instead of focusing on service to self which is not always a bad thing because Sometimes when you are servicing self, you end up serving others. Yes, yes. I but when you are shifting your consciousness as collective from service to self to service to others, mm. the tipping point of the dimension is 5D. So from 5D, you will start living the life of service to others. Yeah, and that is a choice of the consciousness you will be making. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and let you have a healthy balance of service to others. It is very important to love yourself, self love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you don't serve yourself in the healthy manner, how could you serve others? Yes, right. without self sacrificing. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I often say you cannot give what you don't have. Yes. So you I, need to fill the water first. And then when water is pouring out, then you can serve others. Mm -hmm. And that is not selfish. Act. Sometimes uh, people who are extremely self-serving person will tell you, oh, don't be selfish. Think about other people. <laughs> the other people means him or her. Doesn't mean other people. Yeah, this example reminds me of our current um, uh, control system. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's exactly how they behave. So this is, how are you contributing to other people? How are you using your talent or your skills to make a better world for you and for others. It's not just for others, for you and for others. Mm. Equally. Beautiful. So focus on love, 
trust, freedom, abundance, bliss, joy. Yes. So this is this can be done when you start thinking about how can you fill up your own cup by focusing on your internal world instead of external world. And from there, after you are healed, fully balanced, you can think of how you can contribute to others. Mm. So when you are comfortable with your own skin and being who you are, you are no longer feel in fear or feeling bad about yourself or feeling not stable. So you get influenced by other people's opinion. Yeah. Or you will make sure to please other people even though you don't feel that decision is correct. Mm. You stick to the majority of the opinion because it will be pleasing. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it is very important for all of you to keep on practicing the act of self-love. At the same time, well, when you started connecting with your heart, it is very easy or getting easier to act lovingly to yourself. So when you do that, the choice will be very clear what your heart is saying you to choose. So every day can be a baby steps. Means, let's say if you want to do this particular occupation, which you, you always wanted to do, but you have this cushy, comfortable job, and you have a fear of leaving. We're not telling you to jump off the cliff tomorrow, but you can shift yourself, the pivot yourself toward that direction. And then dedicate yourself two, three hours a day to do this new job. And then eventually to shift that to completely. Even mm -hmm. making that choice, you already made a choice to choose you instead of choose something else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a living example of that. That's how I moved from working for uh, companies and quote unquote the corporate world into uh, becoming a full-time healer. I made it slowly, step by step, exactly how you described it. Um, yes. Yeah. I also wanted to, to, to say something before I forget, going back to, to the heart, that uh, I just wanted to add um, to all these beautiful messages that you shared with us, that one more thing about the heart, that it's, a, it's an anchor, especially for people who are going through turbulence right now and anxiety, uncertainty. The heart is an anchor, always... Um, keeps you in, in balance. And uh, so it's it's incredible tool also to go through this um, hectic times. Yes. So heart always brings you back to the center. And heart is also the doorway to your higher self. Yes. So when you are trying to discover who you are, you connect with your heart. And it is very important for you to have absolute quiet time on your own. Means no music, no TV, no cell phone, no nothing. And just feel through your body and feel through your emotions. Mm. And see where you are at. Yeah. Even for five minutes. We recommend you to do this so you can take a temperature of your location by feeling within yourself. 
What do you mean the taking a temperature of your location? Let's say if you are feeling what is going on emotionally, and then you know because there is no distraction when you are focusing on within. Mm -hmm. Are you vibrating with joy? Are you vibrating with fear? Mm -hmm. Are you vibrating with anger? Mm -hmm. If you are vibrating with fear, then it is a good idea to investigate why, what is going on, what are you fearful about? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because sometimes we are influenced by our external um, world, by the energies, the, the energy fields of, so of other people around us. Yes. Mm. So yeah. also asking this mind, this my emotion. Mm, mm, mm. It is yeah. something you are borrowed from other people. Exactly, yes, yes. Is it mine or am I feeling empathetic, the energy field of the collective or yes. people around? Yes, yes, absolutely. I felt this very strongly because I was three months in an island, uh, quite remote uh, life, very, very peaceful and I'm in a big city right now since two weeks and I already feel an incredible shift in my, in my energy field, um, much more anxiety. Um, and I, I, I know it's exactly what you're saying. I know that it's, uh, I'm tapping into the, the energy around, the energy of the city, which is more chaotic. Yes. But um, some of you are living in the chaotic environment, which is on purposely happening because you place yourself as a lighthouse. Yes, yes, especially star seeds, right? Yes. Mm, yeah, that's very true. Yeah. But when you feel you are exhausted, and if you can, you can take a vacation to go to somewhere with a lot of nature mm. as much as you can. Yeah, 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 it's very important. Beautiful. Okay, Asta, thank you so very much for all this helpful information. Uh, it's always a pleasure and honor to, to talk with you. I thank you for the bottom of my heart. And I'm looking forward to our next uh, discussion. Yes. This is Ashtra of Ashtra Knan. We are here to serve all of you. And oh, that was a cool transmission. Yes, very, very nice. And I think very, very, very needed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. Mm. It's, yeah. it's really important for us to um, align with our love frequency, for sure, as much as we can. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Erica. It was Thank you. an amazing transmission. And uh, you will always, uh, like always, find uh, Erica's links uh, in the description box below and uh, mine too and you can always contact us for if you want to have a private session and uh, thank you very very much for watching thank you for your beautiful comments we really appreciate it thank you and see you next time then bye bye bye